Hey guys, just a quick update to show you what I've been mucking around with. I've done this before, but I thought I'd just put a little video up. Um, basically, this is a WT32 um, Bluetooth module, which is, I um, dead bugged it on a dead little board there. Uh, on the back there's a little proc um, that controls it via serial port, and then there's a USB serial port over there that talks to the proc. Um, at the moment I'm just using the analog output, so this is just a uh, differential amplifier it brings it out to a, uh, a, ba a balanced line, which you can hear it playing. It's actually playing Bluetooth music from the phone that I'm taking this video with, so which is kind of a bit, a bit cool. So yeah, so the quality of the sound is pretty good. Um, it's only modern at the moment. I haven't bothered doing the, the second second channel but it's working just the same so the plan is realistically I'm sort of tying up whether I should use the PCM output of the Bluetooth module because I need to mix um, a couple of them together uh, along with a, an unbalanced two-way radio um, which I was going to digitize and do it all digital so that um, it's going on a motorcycle so analog uh, can pick up all sorts of noise and stuff from the engine and things so and just it's all digital can too but uh, I'm just kind of thinking whether I'll have less problems with the digital but I'm also leaning towards doing the analog so if anyone's got any strong opinions either way let me know um, my uh, radio box I have for my bike works quite well and that's all analog but um, it does pick up a lot of noise and bits and pieces so um, the plan is to have two Bluetooth modules um, one sync and one source uh, the sync will connect up to your phone to listen to music and the source will link up with the head helmet Bluetooth module um, which we actually both have um, helmets with Bluetooth modules in them now so basically it'll be sort of a man in the middle um, and then the two-way radio will be ducked in between the uh, the two of them so that we can hear the two-way um, there'll be some intelligence there so that when the button's pressed it switches into HFS or HF, what do they call it? HS hands free mode. Um, so that the, the headset Bluetooth will switch modes so that you can take the call or, or talk to the two way. But otherwise, when it's not in that mode, it's just going to be in A2DB mode, which means stereo audio. And then the uh, two way radio audio will be mixed on top of it. So it will only switch to hands free mode um, very quickly um, if and when you talk because the microphone isn't in need, which in that case, in your headset, you're only going to hear sideband anyway, so you don't really, you're not going to hear the music, so you're not going to hear the poorer quality when it drops down to 8 kilohertz. So I think it should work quite well. Um, it's more of, yeah, just getting the design to work properly in a noisy environment that is uh, the electricals of a uh, revving motorcycle. But um, yeah, I'm very impressed with these WT32s. I mean, I've used them before, um, but just haven't really had a lot of time to, to muck around with them. I've got these really cheap, cheap, cheerful, uh, these are just uh, sync only. Bluetooth modules off uh, Deal Extreme, which you can probably tell by these boards. These are all Deal Extreme boards. They're actually quite good, um, given how much they cost. And they come in like a box of ten or something for like five bucks. And they're through hole plated, and they, they work. I don't know if you can get it to focus. Um, but anyway, this little source um, sync, sorry, module's not too bad, but it's pretty noisy compared to the WT32. It's just a class above. I mean, that's a that's nearly a forty dollar module. And this is like a six dollar module. <laughs> Um, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, just a quick update to see, show you what I've been doing, uh, not a lot, but, uh, you know, days are busy, so yeah, if anyone's got a strong opinion whether I should go digital or not, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, um, PCM audio into an FPGA with a, a buffer and some sort of, uh, adder, um, you know, it's, it's going to be an interesting project, I've got plenty of time to do it, and, you know, I kind of like mucking around with FPGAs, but at the same point in time, I could probably design a nice differential analog signal path and, you know, muck around with op amps and things and, yeah, I've done that before, but it um, might be simpler. So, any strong thoughts? Oh, the other other one is I haven't really put two of these Bluetooth modules next to each other yet. Um, so, yeah, so that should be interesting. Anyway, see you later.